students, my dear masters, my dear gods, welcome to all of you for the Holistic Wellness Day, the 18th day we are going through. Before commencing the session, my sincere pronouns to my beloved Guruji, Pramarsi Patriji, my great pronouns to Matar Babaji, the great ma Grand Master. My dear friends, my dear masters, my dear gods, today we are going to start the session now. First, we'll be having a the brief discussion with uh, each member who joined here, the experience of uh, everyday experiences, your meditation experiences. Then after, if somebody, some uh, new joiners are there uh, to the WhatsApp group today, we'll try to give them the little description about meditation. Of course, they'll be continuing from 1st October, but still if somebody joined here, so we'll give them the so brief explanation about the meditation also. Then after, we will uh, share the wisdom. Today's wisdom is Holistic Lifestyle, Part 2. And also, previously I already forwarded one video, Holistic Lifestyle. So I think you all might have seen it. So now this is uh, Part 2. We will be sharing some, the Holistic Lifestyle wisdom will be sharing with you, which will give you the perfect lifestyle. Basically, in order to maintain the proper health, physical health, my dear friends. Then after, we will have meditation practice also today along with this. So, let's start with the yeah, sharing of experiences now. Yes. Sri Pallavi, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, Guruji. Good evening. Uh, like the meditation, I am doing regularly. Morning, one hour I did. And in between, whenever I got time, uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes like that, I was doing the whole day. Uh, it was like uh, refreshing. Uh, whenever I'm in anger or uh, in tension, I was just meditating for 10, 15 minutes and, uh, and controlling all my emotions. Um, and I started reading that Murma therapy book today. Mm -hmm. And it was so interesting. Uh, I I think by within two three days I'll come I'll be completing it. And mm -hmm. uh, I have some doubts, Guruji. Like uh, even though we are calm, we are very simple. We won't speak much. Due to other people, we'll get hurt. Yeah. That emotion. That time I won't say anything, but that emotion will be there in in me for longer time. And whenever I am calm. Uh, doing something that that will be tri triggering so how to control that and uh, one yeah. more thing yeah uh, yeah and uh, and i heard like uh, all these emotions are like uh, it is uh, attached to our chakras also within yeah. our body so uh, we should we should be cutting all those things all these emotions from other people's through these chakras, how to do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these two are my questions. First of all, the emotions are very common to the anybody. You are not only you, for everybody. Emotions are quite common. But how far you keep them inside, that is very, that's very important. Okay? So, the one thing is, karmas are also, eventually, kar karmas are also bound to happen. There are karmas, right? So, as per the kar karmic cycle, we used to face a lot of karmas. When we are facing karmas, what will happen? It leads to some kind of emotions with respect to others. So, that emotions you will go through. Like uh, sometime, um, you know, like uh, exhausting your patience. Like uh, you uh, get angry on other people. Also, you may um, something like, you know, uh, you will be able to not tolerate other people's uh, all the activities. So, impatience will happen, right? Some kind of fear may come sometime. Sometimes depression will come. So, any kind of feelings, any kind of emotions may happen. A quite number of emotions. Okay? Right from the depression to the headache, everything. Whatever things happens because of uh, all mental strong patterns. They are mental, uh, like strong mental patterns. The two negative patterns. So, these negative patterns are quite common to everybody. But how do you come out of that? That's very important. Are you taking too much time? Then there is something to be done with your side. You know, like you must practice meditation, practice uh, positive thinking, 
isn't it so all these things you must start doing it otherwise you eventually get into the vicious circle it's a vicious circle so once you enter into that vicious circle there is very difficult to come out of it many people they get uh, you know mental mania so because of this mental agony continuous agony right then they become mental mania then slowly slowly they become mad people like mentally completely mentally disabled people so all this will be happening if you if you run anything any you no know, it can be a uh, any kind of emotion which is you know taking away your energy when you come across such kind of emotion you must uh, not continue that for long time see at that moment everybody has to go through there is no other way even for me also for example i am going somewhere somebody comes and uh, hit uh, some car or whatever it may be right then we also get some emotional some kind of emotion will come but uh, should not remember that here for long time so that will hamper you really it is going to hamper your energy see when any emotion right which takes away some energy from you that is not good if you continue to do that what happen your entire energy will be drained out then you get into illness right why illnesses comes because we will not you know we will not leave the emotions we stick to them all the emotions are kept within us for a quite some time that's the biggest problem right so that is why in order to come out of them only we have given this kind of tools meditation okay living in the present moment talk to the positive people right engage with the, the right you know right people right companion right friends whenever you get this kind of disturbances talk to some two three good people the like good friends story story forget them you understand otherwise these emotion will overrate you so once they once this emotions overrate you it will take away all your energies then totally mentally become ill mentally you become ill so that particular illness to take away you have to go approach doctor or you know many people many people approach many things because they want to understand properly they go to priest they go to temple they go to astrologer everywhere you will run through because you want to find out what is the reason for this uh, you know illness for that illness illness is caused because of your own you know your own mindset change your mindset like you know change your mind change your life is it right if you change your mind change your life it will change your life change your thoughts change your life right as is your mind so is your life as you think so you become yad bhavam tad bhavati yatha mati tatha gati all these things are there so these are all you know we need to understand that is why what we need to keep here what we need to send to the heart what should not be sent this there should be some kind of a perfect control for achieving that control only we tell you to do meditation 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 nothing else reading reading the right spiritual books no our wisdom is enlarged because of spiritual book reading my wisdom is enlarged that's it so that's how it happens so when when the wisdom is enlarged what happen whatever my mind says i will not follow i will try to distinguish try to differentiate i will try to uh, you know something called um, uh, discrimination the power of discrimination will be with me whether i should take this thought strongly i should or otherwise i should discard it that power should be within me why many people suffer emotionally mentally for quite long time because they have not they, are, they don't have much intellect their intellect is minimum so they have no capacity to control their mind they became slaves to their mind in fact their intellect has become slave to their mind understand once you become a slave to the mind then whatever mind says you must you must listen is that it mind is control you mind is going to control you in fact what happened is we are the boss of the mind but many a times what happened because of lack of energy lack of intellect both one is lack, lack of intellect another is lack of intellect energy both because of this you know what happens we become a slave to the mind that means we means like we are the soul we 
is the soul consciousness. We are that consciousness. We becomes we become servant to the mind. All whatever mind says, see if you can observe all the people on this earth plan, most of the people, right? Unless you became master, unless you you know you are a positive positive minded, you know the positive attitude. Unless those you know until unless uh, you have that kind of qualities within you, most of times you go on listen to your mind. Whatever mind says, you listen. And then you attempt to do that. Then you get into a lot of other problems. Okay, if there is a there is a like you know proper growth or a, the proper uh, way you are you know if you run your life, if you go through your life because of your mind instructions, it's fine. Sometimes many a times what happen is mind whatever it says, it may not be uh, something like you know it may not be complete nature or it may not be truth in nature. So as it is not truthful, you may not. End up in a positive results. You may end up in a negative results. The reason is mind doesn't know the truth. Mind only picks up some information from all the sources. Then it calculate. Okay, I may do this. I may get into these kind of things. Okay, if I attempt to do this, then I may get this this kind of result. We just estimate, isn't it? We estimate. We end up doing it because our mind instructed. Then we get into negative results, and then we get into Disappointment and uh, like you know worries and uh, dukkha, right? Unhappiness. All this happens. So what you do is always you must become a boss to your mind in order to have perfect control on your emotions. That will happen only by regular uh, the consistency in meditation. If you are doing meditation consistently, you will definitely become a master of your mind. There is no doubt on that. Okay. And also one one more question you asked is so one thing is emotions how do we uh, control and like you know this one you asked second second thing is uh, what is second question your question yeah these emotions are attached to chakras ah oh, chakras okay so how to cut that yeah it's very simple as I told you so every emotion takes away some some energy or is going to deplete. Some of the energy from your system, okay. So what happens is, of course, it affects the chakras. It affects the chakras. All the emotions, whatever it may be. For example, Mooladhara, then comes to Swadhisthana. So then that means a uh, sacral sacral chakra, then solar plexus, mm -hmm. the down body root chakra, then sacral chakra, then comes solar plexus, right? Then comes to this Anatha chakra, so that it. Then comes to the Vishuddha chakra, then. Uh, Agni chakra, Sahasrava. So here, what happens is everywhere there are certain kind of emotions are there. Okay. So, for example, if you are much, you know, like you are attached to all the physical things, right? The physical mundane things, then more or less you are just attached to the this Mooladhara chakra. Okay. Anything happen in that, you know, like the, that kind of uh, emotions comes into picture, then that particular chakra will be imbalanced basically. Okay. So, however, the every emotion will take away some energy from you. Okay. So then, when the energy is taken away from you, then what happen in the pranamaya kosha? That's called etheric body. In the etheric body, the amount of energy what is flowing within you it will reduce. Okay. So, for that matter, what happen because of that? Because of there is no there is a lack of energy or the less amount of energy flowing in the pranamaya kosha. Then your chakras also will not get or receive sufficient energy. See, every chakra needs good amount of energy from the so-called sahasrara chakra. So from the sahasrara point, all the energy goes down. The, it's flowing down through the all the nadis, all the nadis. Like we have two lakh seventy-two thousand nadis in the etheric body. All the nadis must be having a proper amount of energy flowing across. Then. All the nadis they terminate at each and every chakra. There are seven chakras, right? But in fact, not seven chakras. We have, uh, in, if you say like you know, every chakra is one energy center. So one energy center. So these kind of energy centers are like uh, twelve hundred thirty-six energy centers are there in our physical body. We have those many centers, but they are all small, small, small centers. Which are the principal centers? Which are the principal and main centers? These are seven seven centers. These seven centers are 
seven chakras are the major centers otherwise we have even in fact after 1236 we also came down to the number 110 chakras are there even in 110 chakras we go on filter out filtering out then finally we reach to the the number as number as seven so this seven basically primarily we speak so this seven chakras will control all the main organs in your body every chakra what are the organs it controls in the last class we discussed in the previous class we already discussed the each chakra which are all the organs it controls which is a mudra for that that also we have seen isn't it so that's how any thought any emotion comes if that emotion is negative in nature it doesn't give you energy in fact it will take away energy then your pranamaya kosha will be you know losing the energy continuously if you allow it to happen continuously what happen all the chakras becomes imbalanced okay and you basically basically you become weak mentally weak forget about physicality physical and physical energy like you are eating and getting energy physical energy and all that's different but your mental energy will be down your mental energy will be reduced so much that is where you lose the power of thinking power of you know proper talking and proper behavior everything will miss out then slowly slowly you get into the something called you know uh, like uh, a mentally illness person mentally illness or uh, mental ill health will happen then ultimately you can't perform the day to day activities you are dependent on others that's how the life turns into okay so hence any any emotion negative emotion which takes away your energy definitely it will affect all the chakras not one chakra okay right uh, like today i uh, studied about mama therapy mm. so uh, due to this mama therapy uh, i want to tell you one thing uh, day before yesterday you have told me uh, some remedies for gas gastric no sir so for gas yesterday i was feeling little bit acidic uh, in nature so i just pressed those uh, points which you have told me uh, to press on uh, index finger and uh, in the toes so i just tried that it worked so well and uh, within few minutes i got relieved very good very good wonderful yeah and uh, these marma points are also like uh, these uh, acup uh, acupuncture points only mm -hmm. and uh, and these marmas also control can be controlled by meditation mantra pranayama and other yogic methods so through meditation we can achieve anything that's what i have learned today <laughs> see i'll tell you meditation what it does is it clears up all the nadis like you know you receive cosmic energy or the energy what is there with this within us already okay but it is not circulating it is not going through all the nadis isn't it we have as per the acupressure system this uh, you know like uh, the way we understood the physical body and then etheric body in the etheric body when you understood when you understand that you have about 14 meridians there are 14 meridians from bottom top to bottom they'll be running through all the meridians again to the meridians there are again interconnections small 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 nadis okay likewise 2 to 72000 nadis we say right that is the number approximately which is required to operate the entire physical body human system understand so when when it is happening like this what happens is obviously when meditation you are doing the cosmic energy will be received then it runs through all the nadis but if there is a block it will be stopped okay and again if you do more and more meditation that energy flushing happens no when the energy flushing happens that blocks will be released so somehow what what exactly is happening here is if you do acupressure if you do marma marma and acupressure more or less same but marma identifies more points acupressure got less number of points okay and so in the, in the chinese side even the acupressure acupuncture also related to india our sanatan dharma 
but it has uh, slowly slowly it gone to the china and you know uh, from china it has again got much developed and then again coming back to uh, india and every, all the countries that's how it happened it's not original related original related to china no it's not related original related to india only part of ayurveda only and now marma is a superior to the all this you know acupressor acupuncture whatever it is is superior to that marma has got about 187 points okay and acupressor got less number of points and for example um, whatever acupressor points and marma points 40% they are same 60% is different understand that so that is why you learn acupressor then it is easy to learn the marma also but wonderful results will be there no doubt i mean as you ask you are, as you are raise this point uh, you know at this uh, in this session just uh, a hour back uh, i was with the uh, marma specialist basically in our center uh, i'll forward one video if more is understanding kannada you can go through that video today only that uh, video is uh, suited so exactly what happened is uh, one lady was suffering from the back pain severe back pain severe for last three months she could not even get up properly also somebody has to support her all these things okay what was the problem in the lower back uh, there was uh, some blocks basically some blocks were there so because of the blocks she could not get up also that's such a severe pain she x-ray did everything spent money it will go and come see what happened for a uh, sake of you know just uh, giving you clarity in the modern system there are no solutions properly for anything okay that's a uh, one of the thing which we need to understand at least you all can understand other people i don't know how much you can understand so that is the reason he she spent everything nothing happened and that suffering when she was coming from other place in bangalore one our place she came like with lot of pain and uh, crying only she could not come okay such a horrible pain was there then she came only 45 minutes only we, we have done that with mama dad my uh, madam expert is also there doctor also we have done only 45 minutes after that you can go through that video she is uh, completely relieved completely gone pain is gone pain is gone now she is uh, walking very fast before that walking walking also uh, so tough what happened now the blocks are removed simple she operated about uh, 60 65 points across this uh, entire bone this no right completely the operated there all the points are pressed properly the energy flow happened properly then now she is walking walking and you know she is now she is telling sir i can run also <laughs> that is the power of our sanatana dharma ayurveda yes. yeah. so this is where you know uh, that is why mother foundation is uh, aiming to do all these things the reason is we would like to give holistic health to everybody see for example same she is unable to do meditation also let me tell you see some people you know with a great perseverance they sit and do meditation some of they make sure that that uh, energy flows and clear that's okay for how many people it is possible do you think it is possible for everybody no no then what happen there are alternative systems right like marma acupressure mudras and then some home remedies on ayurveda homeopathy magnetotherapy magnetic therapy like this many many things are there so with these things what we do first we will make sure that you are physically fit if you have such a kind of a severe illness first remove that illness don't don't depend on only meditation to do this okay what if you know like you have a lot of meditation energy you are using that meditation energy just to heal your back pain is that, is that the aim of meditation energy no your meditation energy or your spiritual path or spiritual wisdom the aim of that is to realize yourself to realize what you are to realize your own self you must be doing continuous meditation for quite long time okay one point of time we reach to the climax the peak will go to the pinnacle these pains will uh, interrupt our meditation so we have yes. to cure this and uh, we have to yeah. continue yeah. doing meditation right. but for curing them 
again and again, if you are doing meditation and using the energy, that is that's not correct what I say. Don't waste your meditation energy or spiritual energy or your atmic energy just for curing headache, migraine, back pain, right? All these things. So try not using this energy, try using other met other met other methods. Just relieve them. Get cured. Make your physical body fit to sit for three hours without shaking. Then that is where the meditation happens. Understood? So this is the concept of our 21 days holistic wellness program. That is why every Saturday we try to teach right, about the uh, like, you know, all the physical methods, about the food, about the lifestyle, about some mudras, acupressure, what not. For example, you have practiced one acupressure, what I said, right? Uh, if a severe gastric, what to do? Severe acidic, what to, what to do, right? What mudras are there? And also what uh, acupressure points are there? I told you. You have just operated them. You are not meditated for two hours, three hours. Correct. You, just, uh, you operated for 30 minutes or something. You got the result now. Why should you do meditation then for that? That meditation energy, what you got, use it for your you know enlightenment purpose. Isn't it? So use it for soul evolution, not for the physical cleansing. Physical cleansing, you do it with other methods. That is why on the earth planet, we have so many methods. If that is the case, only meditation should have been there, no? Why there are so many methods, alternate methods? They are all given to us because take care of your physical needs and your physical cleansing, physical well-being, physical fitness, achieve that, do all these methods. In fact, do yoga asanas every day, do prana every day, keep your physical health fit, fit, and, you know, fit and fine, then sit in the meditation like a rock, like this, it's a rock, straight. So to sit like a rock, like you see, uh, in uh, Andhra Pradesh, there is one uh, place, I think uh, Deepika may be knowing, uh, and you will, you will also be knowing mostly, uh, Mumadivaram, right? West Godavari, Mumadivaram. Mumadivaram is a place. What okay. happened there? One yogi, Mumadivaram Bala Yogi. Okay. He started meditation at the age of eight or no. I think uh, about eight or ninth year. He just uh, entered into meditation. It was his Pura Janma Karma, Samskruti. Okay. He entered at ninth, ninth uh, age, nine years. Then he did meditation continuously 13, nine years. Not urinating, not drinking water, not washing the tools, stools, no stools, no urine, no drinking water, no food, nothing. Close the eyes, never open. If you want, uh, go to the Amazon, purchase one book. It's a miraculous series. Uh, the autobiography of a... Uh, I'll send the photo in the group also. Uh, the life, life journey of this uh, uh, Mumadivaram Bala Yogi. Mumadivaram Bala Yogi. Okay? Two books are there. Now, another wonder. In, within the same family, by seeing his brother, his small brother, he started shooting. He has sought for one more extra year, 40 years. Oh, super. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Understand? Like we used to read in uh, olden days, they used to do 100 years meditation. Uh -huh. we used to learn. So this is happened. Like that is why one of the Supreme Court lawyer, uh, he was a strong devotee of these uh, masters. He observed them from the very closer perspective. Right? So, in fact, uh, one fine day, you know, like uh, his uh, uh, father, mother, they tried to convince him to get up. No, he never, he, they, they, they didn't uh, worry, worry about it. And in fact, they were trying to, in the initial days, they were trying to take some milk. They were keeping one plate, one small glass, they used to drink. After some days go on, after some months or some, something, no, that also stopped. They start, they, they start taking that also. Not even milk, not even water, nothing. How they survive, tell me. It's a miracle, you know. It's a miracle for the science, in fact. Science can science can prove this. We can't even uh, 
stay one whole day without food without water <laughs> uh, so that is what i am saying okay this meditational energy spiritual energy you must use it for the inner exploration inner exploration go inside deep inside but that use this energy don't use this energy for you know curing you know removing your skin problem your face problem right all this uh, this kind of things there are many methods use them don't use chemical medicine inside don't put chemical medicine inside that doesn't suit your the inner environment basically your digestive system will not accept any chemical you take inside any chemical whatever it may be chemical through food chemical like an you know, alcohol through food like nowadays all the foods are polluted isn't it any chemicals and um, like polluted uh, food polluted uh, air polluted whatever it doesn't accept and also any medicines which are pure chemical they are synthetic chemicals they cannot be digested because you are in inside the liver doesn't have that enzymes to digest see any anything to digest the the line the inner line of the liver that will generate some enzymes okay so unless that generates the proper enzymes no food can be digested in your stomach if there are no proper enzymes why do you want to give a suffering to your you know so called digestion system that is why we say that avoid this chemical substances you know more and more into your physical body to save god your health that's all to basically to save god your resistance power understand yes thank you sir right yes deepika uh, good evening guruji good evening ah uh. so i read the meditation book that you i uh, put it in the drive um, yeah uh, whatever i feel like uh, in my real experience what i felt i read in the book the most then i felt this should be very practical very good very nicer and also the classes you have told uh, all those points I, i i saw in that book calls yes wonderful very helpful book yeah so that and, uh, book, that book you you have to read uh, once twice thrice four five six ten times okay sir every, like uh, many every, every point has to be in your mind next class you you must teach okay sure yeah how much you see for example you know a a to z you know a b c just go yeah. and teach a first okay what is wrong with <laughs> yes i like to teach also Yeah, next uh, next class we'll be giving you. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, sir. I'll try. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, that I'm... is what I'm telling you. See, what is meditation? What are the benefits of meditation? Why do why can't you teach that? Any I problem? can tell because I also experience those. Ah, yes. So you are experiencing. I can tell very frankly. Yeah. Yes, you are, you are a scientist. You are exploring. I mean, you are going inside and you are exploring. Yeah. That's called, yes. That's called the inner exploration. And. Uh, yeah i also read that we are our own masters and when i read that uh, line in that book that i thought what i, I felt very correct then <laughs> yes absolutely because see uh, most of the times what happen i mean yeah. talking about other organizations where they keep you as a like a student all the time they say that uh, you can't teach you don't know and uh, you should take deeksha to teach this all you know so many things they tell you in fact that yeah. is one way of uh, putting you to the like you know lower mode like you know they you won't rise yeah. up yes you, you never have an opportunity to become a master also yeah in <laughs> in that in that case i will take like challenging why if you are able to do why why i am not able to yeah. do okay let me Correct. wonderful wonderful that that's a good yeah. thing Very, very that's for me from, from childhood yes i uh, even when my dad is uh, learning cwa uh, yeah. when i was in fifth standard i did all his math <laughs> yeah. and then i thought okay I, the, uh, when i grow up i have to be a ca then i i studied that yeah, nice. wonderful so that's why i'm yeah. telling you so now you study this book uh, before like in october first will come now you must teach okay it okay okay so sure. the, your topic is 
what is meditation what are the benefits of meditation otherwise take okay. one topic that why to do meditation okay sir simple you read the book and you explain that day you are okay. the you are the master oh no no i am the assistant master <laughs> no no like you must teach there is no there nothing to worry see here you all you already experienced the meditation yeah we have your own experience of meditation isn't it yeah yes you already tasted and you went inside you know that yes and also you know what are the benefits and how to do meditation yes sir after after coming to your class i knew before i was like going behind the thoughts you told like you should leave off the thoughts then i left then i completely yes. saw change in my life yes correct okay before you, i did get interest in meditation 15 20 minutes you take no problem then i will also be there i will help you okay 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 sir sure yeah. and also i want to tell oh, my friends the, like now that now the deal is done yeah deal is done <laughs> because uh, this is what guru said and i have to follow i will follow so happily very good <laughs> yeah, deal is done sri pallavi yeah. uh, sri pallavi and sunita is the witness sri sunita yeah they are they are ready to even ragav they okay. are like very good students <laughs> of you right. like interestingly right. listening and i want to tell my friends like while when we are studying ca in vijayawada Uh, uh i have a close friend madhuri she is very very sweet she is very good and we both are friends and uh, uh, we have another girl uh, like te- we have another girl like um, whenever we st- we two start reading she will come and interfere us and uh, every time it happens and she sits and chatting 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 we, uh, we only have one month we came from we went to home Uh, after uh, training and all we went to home and we came back to hostel to only for exam uh, to prepare to get prepared for examination but that girl she was uh, wantedly interfering us disturbing us uh, telling all nonsense chatting all those things then what me and my friend decided is okay uh, okay any how we have to read we have to pass so how how to uh, prevent this girl so, so we thought like uh, she'll uh, sleep by 12 and get up in the morning 9 am like 12 am At nine a.m., she will get up. So we we made a plan like uh, we used to read till eleven p.m. and go to bed. Get up at two p two a.m. and we used to read till nine a.m. We uh, after nine a.m. we finish up and we go to breakfast. And then we we used to um, we used to act like we are still sleeping. Then when the girl woke up, she come and see oh they are still sleeping. Okay, let them sleep. And she used to go eat and enjoy with other friends. We uh, we <laughs> actually she thought like she cheated us but we actually cheated us and we both uh, passed in uh, merit getting uh, all india level ranks but that girl she was left even after two attempts she still she still writing exams mm-hmm. so i want to tell my friends like there are people in a uh, people there are there are people like different nature the tatvam is that let them do their tatvam tatvam but our tatvam is like to win to achieve so we have to go for our achievement Yes, do that. Take care. Take up that. So that's good. And Sri Pallavi, what is the subject you will teach? Yeah, this Marma therapy. That that book <coughs> I am reading it. I can yes. teach that. Okay. So you you make make a notes properly. Okay. Yes, sure. I will do the slides, and can I do slides present? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slide, yes. Absolutely. That will be good for the students also. You you tell me the date uh, in next two three days time. Maybe huh? give give me the date by tomorrow day after. Which date in October you will tell? Okay. Okay. October first when we start now. Which date you will be able to give the su- your subject? Then I will add that. First day the details will be added, and okay. yours will be added in some other day. You have to give me the date. Okay. Okay. And uh, in fact, in that uh, there is a my number and one more uh, Geeta. Geeta is there. Mm-hmm. She is uh, you know our uh, uh, nutrition specialist and uh, holistic life, lifestyle expert. Okay. She is uh, also today she is on the uh, on our dais. So you can send to her also. This is my topic. This is my whenever you have any doubts also you can have call her. Yeah, sure, sir. Any kind of doubts you can call her. She she is our senior person and also holistic life lifestyle expert. Okay. Okay, sir. Sure. Okay. Good. Sunita, madam. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, when did you uh, send the link, sir, about the book? Uh, which I book find... one? Uh, that uh, yeah. meditation. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I sir. think I, I will resend uh, resend it. I sent it long back. Uh, okay. Which I think Deepika could have found out now, but uh, I will forward it again. Okay. Sir. Go through that book. All of you, all of you here, who are all thirteen members. Every member, everybody must read that book at least ten times. Okay. Okay, even, sir. Even uh, today morning, I did for half an hour, sir. Um, beyond that, I can't do that, sir. Okay. My capacity is only half an hour. I try no, to. Nothing, nothing like that. Uh, you can just sit for more time. See, if you are not getting any pain and all, no. Just sit for more time. Like mm -hmm. uh, even you get thoughts also. Just sit. Start learning yeah. sitting for more time. Start learning to sit more time. That's all. That's all what we need to do. Okay. So do that. Since slowly, slowly, will increase the time will increase. Not a problem. Okay. And so swadhyaya, swadhyaya, you must do every day. Then only you get yeah. you get more interest to sit also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Right. Raghav Ji. Namaste, Master. Sorry, I was not able to join for the last three days. Uh, there was office work and I had to go to office. So I came very late. Uh, I am practicing uh, meditation, uh, Master. So, uh, but uh, I, I try to do more than one hour, but uh, after 50 minutes or one hour, <laughs> automatically my eyes open so i'm i will try my best to go beyond one hour but 50 minutes to one hour i'm i'm able to do morning and evening night yeah good good that's good progress yeah and uh, I'm, I'm not giving uh, sometimes uh, different experiences are different every time it is not the same so one day i feel more energy sometimes i feel um I don't know whether uh, I I don't feel what I 50 minutes how it passed. So, but I'm not sleeping, but uh, I don't know where I was, what I did. I don't know. But some days I feel the energy continuous 50 minutes. I'm completely aware and I'm feeling that energy. So that's what I as and when it comes, I am taking it. That's all. So. See, one thing is. Uh, um, you know, feeling that uh, I am nowhere or something like that. You know, like when you get that kind of experience, what it what it indicates is you are nowhere means like you are not restricted to one physical body. That's the meaning. Hmm. You you means you are the consciousness. That consciousness, in fact, cannot be restricted to this physical body. If you go into the meditation, you feel like. You are not existing in this physical body. Hmm. You feel like you are somewhere, you are everywhere. You are nowhere, you are everywhere, you are somewhere. Something hmm. that kind of feeling will come because you are vast in nature. You your far is vast in nature, infinite in nature. Once you switch off this point, right? This body is uh, you know down. That means body is switched off, and body is not doing anything or its physical activities. Right, like a, some, you know, in a very limited way, it is doing. Heart is functioning, right? Some important organs are working, mm. and uh, within you, whatever that uh, main source, that astral body, if it is taking out, if it is going traveling out in the deep sleep, then it merges into the universe. That that point of time, you can't feel like I am somewhere here. I am here. I am there. You can't feel that okay. because you are everywhere. Whatever, whatever is there outside, no, like the entire entire your entire consciousness, that means vast consciousness. You are part of that. So how do you feel that you are here, you are there? You can't feel that. Yeah. So that to experience that only, and also the ex to experience that every day you must practice. But in the meditation, in, in the sleep, what happened? Obviously, we will go out. Hmm. But whatever we go out, but it, it, it happens unconsciously. It doesn't happen consciously. Consciously. But we want to, we, we wanted it to happen consciously because so when we do it consciously, then we can have that experiences. We can remember that experiences. Hmm. See, 
your conscious mind needs the experience otherwise it will not believe correct so how do you how do you make your conscious mind trust on that your conscious mind will get belief or trust on the particularly whenever it, it is able to pursue yes. the things pursue the experiences correct for that reason we sit in the meditation and then we go deep in deep inside us then finally what happen the energization the maximum maximization of energy happen within that uh, cosmic uh, cosmic energy what we are receiving it go on maximize then mm -hmm. slowly slowly story the astral body get released then whatever the experiences we take in the uh, deep sleep same thing happens in the this so called astral travel and uh, conscious the consciously so when you do consciously this travel is called astral travel or conscious travel so when you do conscious travel then you are now certain you are certain and you understood you understood that there is something beyond this physical body until otherwise you can't understand that right. okay you are the point right yeah okay yeah so that's how we need to do and um, most of the time see once even the uh, for example you are you are playing the football to hit the goal what happened so you go on playing from you know like uh, from long you know every way, all the entire field you have to you know slowly slowly lot of players will be there you have to cross one one player and then slowly slowly you take the ball and hit the goal mm. that's how it happens in yeah. meditation also one day meditation may, may take you little inside second day meditation may take you little more or third day meditation to come back again complete mm. 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 fourth day meditation you may go again some one step ahead fifth day meditation nothing fully disturbance mm. Mm. So it's like you know playing a right. game on the field when you are playing a game the combinations and permutations are so many same same way it is happening to which yes right. yes that that's common so ultimately you know consistently if you are playing every day you are doing meditation consistently whether the goal the goal happens goal doesn't happen whether whether you whatever the ball you kick whether it go on touches the that uh, you know goal or whatever you don't care about it you just right. go on play 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 then one fine day definitely you hit the goal correct similar to that this meditation practice also you must be consistent on the practice whether you get empty emptiness whether you don't get emptiness whether you get into deep consciousness or you may not get into deep consciousness mm -hmm. or you may get a scanty a scanty amount of emptiness a scanty very minimal mm -hmm. right finite even that doesn't matter you just take it but next day again try other day you can try go on try like this one fine day comes you will eventually enter into that deep conscious state finish your your game is over you don't need to play anymore that game then now you go on tell others see if you do like this it will happen if you do like this it will happen you go on explain to others that that's our purpose of life otherwise what is that purpose we came we all came here in order to find out about ourselves like you know ourself. yeah in order to find out about ourselves who am i and where from i come what is my real format within me is it the only the uh, this flesh and bones and the blood only or anything else is there so just in order to find out that we all came here and in fact to experience and enjoy the entire you no know, this entire surroundings and uh, the prapancha yeah the entire you can say like all the entire environment and nature we want to enjoy we want to see everything to enjoy that so the two these two purposes only one is entertainment second thing is enlightenment these are the two purposes we came we all came here not to earn uh, uh, million dollars uh, like you know crores of rupees filling, filling the bank and uh, and I, again you know like uh, protecting that throughout the life and uh, you are fearful what happens to that money and you, you know, also like uh, whether your uh, kids will really protect that money or not you got uh, huge properties how do we take care of this these are not the things for that you have not come here yeah. only thing is you have to entertain every single minute every single second you will be in the you must be in the entertainment you must be happy being secondly you must uh, try for enlightenment 
ओके राइट एंड आई जस्ट आई वाज वाचिंग योर वीडियो व्हिच यू पोस्टेड दैट मर्मा थेरेपी ड्यू टू दैट um the back pain severe back pain was there that ah, was suffering okay. i was just watching that uh, before ah. this session it was okay. wonderful uruji uh, so i i i want to bring my mother in law mother in law is suffering from knee pain severe knee pain yes done everything ayurveda homeopathy um and uh, some magnets they kept the magnets there and all nothing is happening yeah, so not- Mm-hmm. she is so i i want to bring my mother in law so this uh, that woman also what she tried is she went to all the ayurveda some you know they put one patti here uh-huh. right? everything she tried okay money also spent but she was crying all the all the day she was crying only mm-hmm. she could not get up also okay in that age of 55 years 60 years mm-hmm. so she is unable to do her own activities mm-hmm. and uh, she is uh, now she is suggested for a operation by uh orthopedic surgeons now <laughs> understand mm. so now we brought her out out of that okay. uh, uh, there is no need of operation okay okay so, so when when can we visit uh, this every, every any saturday, appointment has to be taken yeah uh, every saturday every saturday uh, okay. the expert will be here okay uh, so on saturday if you want to come from where you have to come we are coming from banargatta road very uh, long very long distance uh, but uh, you know you are uh, you, you think long but people come from uh, last week i think uh, september 15 they all uh. come from darwad okay Malari. okay mm-hmm. so many so far places okay okay mm. so, so it will be one session or multiple session See, uh, what happens is all depends upon uh, again uh, man proposes god disposes mm understand so man proposes god disposes but it, uh, god will depo- dispose definitely in this uh, particular line of treatment the other li- line of treatment he may not dispose also mm-hmm. but the wrong methods okay so right the right method so he will definitely definitely dispose but one one or two sessions okay okay for, for her see for this lady mm. only one session done 75 80% over mm how she is able to run also she is telling yeah, she is telling she is everything got relieved she was not able to even lift a glass of water correct that's how it is hmm? okay master okay fine right so okay friends now uh, we will have meditation for 10 minutes and then we'll be having a holistic lifestyle today the topic is holistic lifestyle so argita madam is here so she will take up the holistic lifestyle today so let's start the meditation 10 minutes meditation sit comfortably wherever you are your back erected cross your fingers cross your legs close your eyes start observing the breath natural simple tender loving simple the natural form natural flow of breath go on observe
seconds. both hands keep in keep on your eyes for five seconds one two three four five slowly take your hands away slowly open your eyes yes so my dear friends my dear masters now we'll be start sharing this with the holistic lifestyle a few tips we have only 20 minutes now so by nine o'clock, the live session will start. Before that, we will, we will end our session. And uh, this music, whatever we have done the meditation today, we will share in the WhatsApp groups. Please use this music sometimes uh, to do the meditation, deeper meditation. Okay, right. So I request uh, Gita Madam to take up the session now. Namaste Guruji. Very good very evening good. and very good evening to everyone, all masters. Uh, the most destructive poison is, what is that? Stress. So today I'm talking about the topic is, one second. So imagine now. Uh, uh, you are stuck in a massive or big traffic jam and you are getting late to cash a flight while you, you know, while you see at your watch now and then you see the precious minutes is passing passing away you feel that you will miss your flight if you don't act now your muscles begin to tense and heads of sweat appear your heart starts pounding and your breathing quickens yes you are going, going through a stressful situation. Missing a deadline at work, receiving news about a hospital emergency or continuous worry about losing your job. Such situations can trigger a cascade of stress hormone that cause several physical changes in your body. The problem occurs when your body remains in fight or flight mode for a long period of time due to work pressure family problems overthinking nature or any other uh, or any other outer circumstances in such cases you could be facing a much serious problem if you find yourself in these stressful situations repeatedly your health could be at a serious risk yes today people carry short term stress for a small things almost throughout the day isn't it what is stress then in the most common words, stress is a natural physical and mental reaction to any form of threat. Everyone experiences stress from uh, time to time. Any occurrences um, such as a new medical diagnosis uh, or uh, news about a war or uh, the death of our uh, dear ones, you know, relatives uh, can trigger stress. If you experience irritability, anxiety, depression, headache, insomnia, you are feeling stressed then. Not all stress is har harmful. Stress for a short short duration can be beneficial, beneficial to your health. This is because it helps you cope with serious situations. Yet too much stress can damage your health and affect your well-being. Whenever your body feels threatened, it immediately turns its defense mechanism on even if you sense danger in your 
imagination when your life is in danger your body releases uh, two primary hormones adrenaline and cortisol which give you the extra stimulus to save your life remember moderation is the key so chronic stress affects both our physical and emotional health now every time you feel stressed your uh, body responds without distinguish its source no matter if stress is for uh, from a life threatening situation or any argument with your uh, husband wife or boss the system activates with every trigger physical or emotional as as your emergency response system is activated over and over again your body stays in the in this state more often so every small trigger trigger now leads to stress once the frequency of your uh, stress increases so it is difficult to reverse the mechanism what could be an upset stomach one day and a headache the other day could become a spiral of health problems for you due to chronic stress the body always stays in the fight or flight mode so your body focuses its energy on either fleeing or fighting other processes like digestion take or back take back seat hence acid acid accumulates in your stomach causing severe digestion diarrhea and inflammation the normal beating of the heart also called the cardiac rhythm can suffer can suffer blood Oh, sorry it can suffer from exposure to long period of stress this can lead to high blood pressure heart attack stroke and even decrease uh, life span it's that is why in india we say chinta chita saman hai so today we see that uh, 75 to 90% of all doctors uh, uh, office visits visits are more stress related issues stress is known as the number one proxy killer today according to the american medical association the basic cause of more than 60% of all human illness is stress so well uh, you uh, your next thought will be how not to stress if you have understood that long term stress damages your physical and emotional health you have already won half of the battle now all you need to do is short start with these uh, some uh, simple steps to begin living a stress free life uh, you can st- first you stop thinking and start living a lot of stress r- arises from situations where you overthink isn't it you may visualize problems in your head uh, that do not even exist replaying things in your head has a scientific term for it rumination means spreading it creates unnecessary anxiety which makes your mind weak if you uh, if you have been an overthinker for a long period long time it might not be so easy to end suddenly you will need to practice some ideas and have patience first you need to identify the negative thoughts make a conscious effort to reduce the fo- reduce the focus on negativity let us say you had a great day at work your boss or you maybe any family member appreciated you for your uh, effort but you but don't immediately start thinking about the next set of task so in do, in doing so you are minimizing your accomplishment also also don't jump to the worst outcome for every scenario adding more salt to your food is just going to make the food a bit salty not kill everyone eating the food take 5 minutes a few times each day to introspect and channelize your energy this will help you focus on the positive aspects and help you immediately uh, lift your emotions next expect good things in life try to find the positive aspects of things people and events events you face ask yourself what can i do so that the situation improves or how can i contribute better to my life or how can i appreciate this moment even more if think more do less was your pattern do the reverse side reverse now think less do more so the second one is declutter and minimize as humans we love to collect things isn't it we 
uh, we hoard things because we have an inbuilt form of emotional sentiment attached attached to them we collect them because we feel that whatever we have collected will be of use some other day well get get rid of these mentality immediately the basic idea is that a less cluttered house and office lead to a less cluttered mind the environment around you affects your mind and how you you think have you observed that your uh, thoughts are different when you work on a cluttered table uh, versus when you work in a cafe or a well organized desk follow the steps step wise approach for a decluttering you decluttering and you can make it a way of life categorize everything and notice how much you have in each category if possible make a list of everything you own remove anything that doesn't make you feel good or doesn't have any value to you get rid of papers lying around in your house have have your paper bills uh, delivered to you in a digital form okay take a pride in contribution to saving the environment <clears throat> don't buy new clothes without donating or recycling old ones a thumb rule is if you have if you have not owned it it in one year you will most likely never wear it again isn't it so the idea is better to donate it avoid finding ways to reuse things stop trying to save that old pair of jeans in the hopes of making it into a cool bag decluttering and minimalizing is all about choosing what you want to keep once you know that everything else qualifies as something you should get rid of uh then next one say no to the news the world is changing a lot quicker than we can keep with keep up with as good things are happening so so are the bad ones every day we hear about horrible th things happening around us climate changes feels like a part of the immediate future sexual harassments happens every minute in some corner of the world murder terrorism racism and others all these problems are real and it is entirely right to feel affected by them but as a, a solitary individual it is not possible to care about everything around you otherwise you are about to experience compassion or fatigue you are probably thinking that it is impossible to switch off for, from the world in such a di uh, dignified environment or isn't it so what needs to be done in this situation let me give you a simple idea prioritize prioritize your physical and emotional health over the distress caused by news choose how much of the uh, the information you wish to take in and act upon avoid watching distressing news for hours at a stretch as at a stretch on tv or social media instead you can invest the same amount of time in working towards making yourself happy you can do relaxing activities like talking to your loved ones reading a book playing badminton or taking uh, or uh, taking a walk in nature this will end the stress that news channels and social media causes so it will it will also triggers the feel good hormones in your it will uh, feel good hormones in your body and improve your health instead of watching the news every night before going to bed uh, list three things you are accomplish each day ending your any given day with you with a positive note will end any stress causing thoughts that you have so every morning take 5 minutes to remove the clutter around you putting things back in their respective uh, places will help you with an organized start to your day in the afternoon take a 5 minutes break from all your work during this time try to recall if you have stressed up in situations where uh, where you could have done without being stressed identify these situations which will help you not to repeat any stress inducing patterns and replace them with an empowering response so i hope you understood what is stress and how to deal with it so that's all for today and uh, thank you so much for listening patiently and uh, thank you so much guruji for thank giving you. me an opportunity
yes uh, geetha madam so thank you so much you have taken a wonderful session on the stress aspect yes. so like this uh, small small topics friends like uh, deepika and uh, sri pallavi so try to take like how geetha madam done right now right small small topics you take no problem in the beginning go with small topics later you can increase okay so you have any doubts you can pose the questions to madam another 3 uh, 4 minutes are there another 3 minutes more yes deepika you want to speak ah uh, yes sir uh, and also eating uh, the food we take also uh, the emotions that we get right uh, for example if we take non veg we feel that kind of fear anxiety all those i couldn't get you uh, can you repeat once again oh no and uh, uh, i am actually telling the food uh, the kind of food we take if we have satvik food then mm. we will be in peace Uh, uh, mm. uh, and kindness, all those things. And if, yes. for example, if we take um, spicy food or uh, mm. uh, you know non-vegetarian, those kind, uh, mm. that influences uh, that influences our emotions too, right? That's what I'm telling. Yes, you are telling that uh, that trigger uh, stress also. Yeah. Mm. Yes, satvik food is good for your emotions also. हारमोन्स इट इज food that makes us healthy if we eat uh, so we don't uh, show all our stress on others too in that mm-hmm. way we can yes so if we eat non veg uh, that is animal we react like that animal some people says like that but uh, it cruelty will be there cruelty and all the fear that it left it goes into us so yes. from fear uh fear is Whatever the thing it will be become like that only that is correct yeah yes right so friends here um deepika and sri pallavi sunitha madam all of you so we have posted the october's uh, right october's uh, the small infograph the along with that link is there link of the this session that means this whatsapp group what we have please forward your share with your uh, near and dear ones and uh, your colleagues and friends everybody so you can do one kind of this is a seva forwarding to others convince them to join here uh, to the platform so all that you start doing it already it's posted in the group hope you got it yeah so start doing it start spreading in your circles about this program so it will be wonderful program for 21 days in october again so we'll have meditation holistic lifestyle spiritual wisdom question answers everything will be there okay also some of our masters will be teaching also wonderful isn't it sunita madam is not uh, you know i think not a decided to teach when she is going to start we we have to see okay Yes, madam. Shanta madam. Yes, sir. So, when you are going to start your uh, teaching? Maybe next session, sir. Next session. Okay, yes. wonderful. That uh, October will start. Okay. So, anyway, uh, some I mean, like Deepika and uh, Sri Pallavi, they are given the subject. I think they will be giving subject as well. Uh, they will teach in the October starting, and uh, Sri Pallavi has to give the date. Okay. so likewise and uh, you must invite all your friends and colleagues for the october session start spreading that uh, link to all the people okay right okay thank so thank you so much and uh, thanks geetha madam thank you thank you sir thank you thanks to all and uh, good night we'll good night sir. good so, night everyone and all of you please join to the tomorrow's 
wellness meditation which is going to start at 6 o'clock in the morning it goes up to 7 30 in the morning all of you request all of you to join for world wellness meditation tomorrow morning thank you